Hi guys, you're watching Infraready. So I'm just demonstrating this 4K Ultra HD camcorder. It can connect to Android and Apple phones. So you can actually view the footage and stream it direct to your phone and review it, etc. It's also equipped with a 48 LED infrared illuminator. So both of these are chargeable. You've got an, about a 90 minute battery life on the camera which is really good for a POV camera. And uh, I guess you get several uses out of the infrared illuminator. So this handy tripod grip actually doubles up as a grip so you can fold it in. And then the camera can be held and directed accordingly. Likewise, it folds back down into a tripod the tripod offers uh, some level of direction so it can be pointed downwards or left in an upwards position if you wish to leave it in a locked off area. So just looking at the spec of the camera, it's got 16 megapixel still images. It's got 4K movies at 30 frames per second. It will take up to 64 gig uh, compact flash cards. It's got a 170 degree field of view, connects to Wi-Fi and it records in H2.64. The camera can also be set to record in 1080p, so that's full HD if you want to conserve some of your uh, SD card space. But as it can take up to 64 gig cards, it'll give you bags of space to film in 4K. So to connect it to your smartphone, there's a QR code that's provided in the manual that you just scan on your phone and then it'll bring up a relevant app store. You can download the app and then you can connect the camera. Like I say, you can either gain like a remote control or you can view and uh, review the footage or still images that you've recorded. So the camera is very lightweight and uh, it just stands at about 11 inches or 280 millimeters. And then width wise, it's just under 200 millimeters at seven to eight inches on the side of the camera there's a usb 2 port for charging and then we've got a micro hdmi port so if you've got the relevant cables etc you can connect it up to your tv for viewing at a later date so i'm just going to apply some power to the camera as uh, i don't have the battery charged i'm going to put the illuminator in the on position I'm going to turn the camera on well, it'll turn on as it's powered, but normally you press the on button at the front. So to toggle through the menus, I'll just zoom in. You can press the button on the front so you can see it's actually a 20 megapixel still image. So I corrected, stand corrected from earlier where it says 16 megapixel. You can view any files that are recorded. And then you gain the uh, menu system so you can use the up and down buttons on the side. It's got cyclic recording interval recording and then you can choose how you capture whether it's continuous shooting photo resolution there's different uh white balance settings that will give you a purplish or bluish hue and you can obviously increase exposure if you uh want to get a little bit more range out the illuminator so it's ideal for medium uh, size rooms indoors Obviously outdoors, as with any full spectrum cam camera or camcorder, you need quite a big uh, infrared illuminator to uh, achieve anything more than a say a 10 to 12 foot distance. Beauty of uh, these uh, that I sell on my website, you can actually connect more of these illuminators in a cluster to the top of the camera itself. The two inch LCD screen is really bright and clear. In darkness uh, that can the brightness of which can also uh, be adjusted you can also adjust the power off time of the camera so to select an option you press the top you can either turn that feature off if you find it annoying so it doesn't time out if you're not recording and you can get the LED brightness to uh, go down or dim after a certain time it's got language as well. You can turn uh, the beep off if you please. 
you've got a date stamp, set date and time you can format the SD card and there's a you've got actually you can actually get up the, the QR codes for the app off the camera itself. So looking at how the camera performs in the dark, the illuminator's set to the on position. I'll just dim it down a little bit. So if I get the camera back into a It'll be telling me to insert an SD card. Also, to connect to Wi-Fi or on your smartphone, you'll need an SD card in. An SD card's not provided, but I suggested it takes up to 64 gigabyte cards. So if I turn my light out now, I'll just zoom into that screen. You'll see that it's uh, very bright and I can turn the illuminator up even more. And you'll see that the camera's like throt throttling back and uh, it meters accordingly, and then it times out. <laughs> so I can, because I set it to 30 seconds, but if I turn that back on, so you can obviously record if you wish, completely discreetly, and the darkness. So just to change that setting, go into a menu, pop down to uh, LCD brightness. Oops, so front. Menu, LCD brightness, okay. So I'll just turn that feature off now. So I'll just remove the camera from the holder and then uh, I'll just scroll around the room. Just get in a little bit closer. You'll see my focus chart and my barometer up on the wall. So you can see that's getting really sharp, it's been calibrated the focus on the room. So excellent camera, ideal for uh, starters or any paranormal investigators to be truthful. So if we just look at the performance in a longer area, so this is in my hallway. So I'll just step forward, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine so it's about a good 10 meter length there so i'll just pop the lights back on now thank you for watching and i hope that you found uh, this movie informative